Hello and welcome back to this HTML tutorial for beginners. In today's episode, I will walk you through the different heading tags which are intended to be used for titles. There are overall six of them and I'll show you each one of them. The first one is the H1. Then we have the H2, H3, H4s, h5s and the h6. Now let's have a look at how these headings get displayed in the browser. So as you can see the h1 is the biggest, the h2 is already smaller and the smallest is the h6. When you code the page the very first one that you'll use is the h1 which is the most important. For further titles you will then use the h2 which is a subsection of the h1 and the h3 will be a subsection of the h2. To make this clearer I will create a page about roses with different sections and I will show you how the headings relate to each other. To keep this video short I will copy paste the code in. Okay, so I've added the code and now I'll just have a look at it at the browser and I'll walk you through it. I'll zoom out a bit. So the H1 is the rose because that's what the page is about. Then we'll just have a paragraph talking about what a rose is. And then I have two H2s on the page. The etymology and the species. These are two different sections, both relate to the rows but are different from each other. The species has further subsections and each of them has an H3. So this one is a species, this one is a species and this one is a species. So all of them have an H3 and then just a paragraph with some information. If there was more information about this type of rows and you wanted to have different sections, each with a title, you would add further H4s below it. The same for the other H3 sections. So when it comes to H1s, some people say you should only use one per page. Other people say you can use several ones. I have linked an article below which goes into this topic and basically says that if you use different H1s it will not affect your page negatively, however there should still be a logical structure to your page. I hope this video was useful, if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will reply. In the next video I will show you the link tag. If you like this one, please subscribe. I post videos every week and I will be adding a lot more HTML videos to this series. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.